Well, Mr. Bennett, what's your reaction to uh, the Kokana Police Department saying that this was not bullying, it was horseplay? Um, I, I, I didn't hear the entire press conference today, um, but I did hear that, and I have to say that I'm extremely upset. I'm sorry, I have to pause you guys before this gets bad. I, I want to make sure it's on. Can you, is it too late with that, though? Can you pull out one of those? Sorry, guys. This one says it's off. This one says it's on. Well, now it should be on. There we I go. just turned that one on, so. All right. I hope you guys know who's is who's here, because I'm not keeping track. Again, your reaction to uh, their findings that this was horseplay, not bullying. Um, extremely upset. I didn't hear the entire interview, but I did hear that they um, said that this was horseplay. Um, my reaction to that is that they're dismissing this based upon uh, their interviews with the three bullies um, that were there. It was a three-on-one situation, um, and this was not agreed upon horseplay in any way, shape, or form. And this sounds to me like the Kakana Police Department protecting bullies. And this is exactly what I was talking about before, and this is exactly why I was upset in the first place. They're dismissing it as they always have, and uh, it's extremely upsetting to find out that, that that's their reaction. But they also interviewed 11 other students and a teacher, and that's the finding that they came to. Um, from my understanding, that's incorrect. Uh, I was only told of the three, and they were in, along with my son, so that would be four. But there was three others besides my son, and um, those were the three kids that were involved. And those three kids are all friends, and they were all involved in the bullying incident. And that was the story that the police school liaison officer decided to uh, run with. And he said that this is... Um, this, he had basically said on uh, Tuesday when he called me that the case was closed because that's what he, what he believed. So it, why is the school district trying to deceive people? I don't think it's the school district anymore. Um, I wanted to, to say something. I did have about a 45-minute conversation today with uh, Superintendent Derwachter. Um, I was actually pretty impressed with the level of conversation that uh, I had with Mr. Derwachter. Um, it went pretty well. I was, I was pretty amazed, and what he had to say was that he was fully on board um, with what I was doing. Um, he didn't like the, the media sensation that it created, but he did say that um, this is an opportunity for us as a school district with the spotlight shining to, to make some changes. And I think the school board, from my conversation, and, and I really hope that Mr. Derwachter follows through, um, but he said that, that, that he was definitely gonna make this a point for, for change and to hopefully make the Kakana Area School Districts an example for how to change the bullying culture. Unfortunately, the Kakana Police Department don't see things the same way. Um, it, very, very unfortunate. Um, so I think this is, this is something completely different um, where the police school liaison officer um, closed the case very rapidly, whereas the, the school district, um, I, I think there's two different entities, but... Um, but in, all, in all fairness, the police department says they've tried to contact you and they have not yet had any contact with you. Um, no, I, I spoke on Tuesday afternoon at about 1.30 with the police school liaison officer. I have not spoken with the Kakana Police Department since. So what do you want to say to folks that may be, may be hearing what the police department is saying uh, and maybe believe that you've deceived a half a million people? No, absolutely not. Um, I in no way, shape, or form have ever or will ever lie about this. This is not a joking matter. This is not something that I'm doing for my own publicity. And I want everybody to know um, what I am doing. I, I, when I first started this, I never intended it and never in my wildest dreams imagined that it was going to be this big. Um, I never uh, in my wildest dreams imagined my name and the word trending would ever be put in the same sentence. Uh, but being that it took off, um, about an hour after it posted, it took off into something much larger. And what I, wanna, I want the people to know is that this is no longer between me and the school district of Kakana. This is no longer a personal fight. This isn't about me. This isn't about my son. Go read the walls. Go read all the statements that people are making. This is much, much bigger. This is, this is a global epidemic of bullying. And I've been asked by thousands to be the voice against school bullying. That's why I'm continuing to bark. Um, that's why I'm continuing to go online. But, you know, this, this recent thing today with the Kakana Police Department is very disappointing. Um, I'm, I'm extremely upset that they would just quickly dismiss it, take the side of the bullies and believe their stories. 
I mean, when you really think about it, what were the bullies, what did you really expect them to say? There, uh, were, do you think they're going to tell the truth? But it wasn't just the bullies. There were also, according to the police department, 11 other people and a teacher that were witnesses. Um, well, from my understanding of the events of that day, no, that would be incorrect. The teacher that was in the room had his back turned, did not see any of the incidents, and the only four people that were in that area were my son and the three bullies. You weren't there? No, absolutely not. So this is all based on what your son is saying? Exactly. And before I even posted that picture, I asked him for over an hour for the stories I wanted to make sure before I did anything, before I acted, before I called the police department, that this was the truth. And when he looked at me with tears in his eyes, and he said, Dad, I swear to you on Grandpa's grave that I'm telling you 100% the truth. That was good enough for me after an hour worth of questioning. I, I put every question to the test, and I made sure that he told me the truth, and I firmly believe that he is telling me the truth of the events of that day. What's your son's name? I'd like not to release that. Are you saying that no criminal act took place? I mean, what's your next step at this point? Are you satisfied with your message being out there, or do you want to pursue the investigation? Um, that's a good question. Um, you know, with, with it gaining the, the attention that it's getting, um, I really want to turn the focus on to the global epidemic of school bullying. Um, there was a story posted today from a gal, uh, Miguel Rodriguez, uh, I forgot the town that he was in, uh, committed suicide and the police department there dismissed it as horseplay. Um, that there was nothing wrong, that nothing happened, that, you know, oh, we're sorry this kid died. No, that, that's just wrong. Um, and if you go on to a lot of the different websites, there are parents all over, not, not only in Kakana, but all over the United States and the world that are saying the same thing about police departments. They're dismissing it, they're walking away. Now, from my understanding, as far as the legalities of things, my understanding from the police officer that came to my house, he said that because of the fact that the children were under the age of 13, that it no longer became a criminal activity and that it was based for the schools at that point. Did you talk to a lawyer? No. I'm not seeking any personal gain. I'm not seeking any money. I'm not seeking vengeance. I'm only seeking um, to raise awareness against this problem. And has anything gone forward with the parents of the kids involved um, between you and them in this situation? No. I, I have not. Uh, I, I've not seek the parents of that child. Um, I've said multiple times to multiple people that uh, I don't want this child harmed, approached, talked to in any way, shape, or form. Um, this is someone else's child, and I mean, kids make mistakes, but it's not my job to tell, you know, that kid's parents how I feel. I'm sure by now they know how I feel. Um, but it's not my job to tell them how to raise their children or anything else like that. This is just, uh, they, they can handle that as a personal matter, and, and I want them to know that uh, I, I wish them no ill will. I don't uh, seek vengeance or revenge or any sort of uh, harm done to their child or their family, and um, I'm trying my best now to step away from the local issue, and I've been asked by countless people to be their voice against bullying and uh, I'd love nothing more than to be able to step up and uh, help them be an advocate against bullies. Is your son in school? Uh, no, it's, it's Easter break. Okay. So he has not been in school since uh, Tuesday. Is he going back next Monday? Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, he will be going back. He is physically fine um, and I fully intend to uh, send him back to school as normal on, um, on Tuesday. <laughs> a lot of love and support from a lot of his friends. He's been receiving text messages from a lot of people at school, gotten a lot of friends to, uh, to, to let him know that, that they were in his corner and that they were behind him and that uh, they really respected him. So he, he has gotten outpouring of, uh, of care from a lot of people. Any backlash? Are you afraid that this may... I've gotten backlash, but he hasn't. Um, there's a lot of people that think I'm doing this for publicity and I want everybody to know that's not true. I'm not seeking any personal gain. I'm not uh, seeking in any way, shape, or form to gain anything from this. I'm not trying to become popular. I didn't intend to be in this position, um, but I wound up here. So here I am um, and just doing the best I can with it.
superintendent said that you guys will continue your conversation. What does that mean? What would you like from him? Um, well, I, I was at work when he called, um, and I know that I've told a lot of you guys the same thing. Um, I'm still trying to maintain my normal life. I still got to put food on, on my kids' plates. Um, I still got to put a roof over their head. Um, so that's why, uh, you know, we're here at 445. I, I got to keep my job. He did call me today while I was at work, and the conversation went a little bit shorter than uh, than I had anticipated. Than I'm sure he anticipated as well. And um, you know, there's still some some things that we have to talk about. I'm sure, but um, through the conversation that we did have, it was uh, very productive. I think we're on the same page, and I think uh, if if he holds true to his word, I think there's going to be some progress and change that's going to be made. Um, at the district, and, and if that does happen, then all this was worth it. Did you mention anything specific that you had to do? Um, not really. I, I, I think it was more of um, it, it might have shed some light into some areas that um, they could improve upon, and I think he's going to investigate, um, you know, where things could have been handled better. Um, I told him where my biggest concerns were. Uh, the reason that I posted it in the first place was the fact that I had left a message for the principal who I had spoke to that morning. So he knew that there was something going on that morning. Um, and I left a message for him at 2 o'clock and asked for a return phone call that night for resolve and didn't get one. And that's why I took the stand that I did and spoke out because uh, they weren't speaking out and they weren't doing anything. So I, I did. Um, and I think that that part of it right there was where... Uh, Mr. Dernwachter had said there was maybe a breakdown in communications in which they could have maybe handled it better and uh, could have helped for some more resolve at that particular time. And I think uh, that's part of it. And I think the other part that I, I, I believe that he is going to be investigating and looking into is how they can change uh, the bullying culture as a whole and what they can do to open up communications within the school district and hopefully find ways to set the example, set the bar for the rest of the world. Um, you know, I, I realize that my picture set off a storm, and with that storm, a lot of people are watching. And with everybody watching, my hope is that uh, that we can set the example, we can set the bar a lot higher, and uh, through some hard work, we can we can make some change for good and 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 be the leader under the spotlight. Um, we're, we're scheduled to talk again on uh, Monday before, uh, so the, the day after uh, Easter, the day before he goes back to school, just to discuss the game plan and to make sure that, uh, that everybody's on the same page and that there's a game plan going back. Um, I express my concerns over a potential um, backlash. Um, he has not received any. I have not gotten any from anybody in Kakana. Um, the backlash that I'm getting is more on the national level. Um, people around the world, and it's basically the one percent. You know, ninety-nine percent of everything has been positive. Has been, you know, keep it up, be our voice. Of course, there's always going to be that one percent that thinks I'm seeking publicity or doing this as a stunt. It's not a stunt. It's not a publicity. It's strictly about a cause that I believe near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, hearing the words from from your child that uh, that they were bullied and hurt at school. I, it, it tore my heart out to hear it. And I think any parent that has a child would feel the same exact way. And the, the unfortunate part is too many, uh, too many parents have been afraid to speak up or have tried to speak up and unfortunately were disregarded and ignored or swept under the rug and it was dismissed as horseplay or goofing around or there was no malintent. No, that's, that's not the case. Of course the bullies are going to say that they were just goofing around. Of course they're going to say it was just fun and games. What did you want them to, to say? I mean, they're, they're not going to tell the truth because if they did, they'd get in trouble, and they know it. Okay. What do you think about the death threats that uh, the police talked about today that they're getting and the superintendent is getting? I have not encouraged in any way, shape, or form, and I do not encourage violence in retaliation for this in no way, shape, or form. Um, unfortunately... With the amount of uh, postings and emails and everything else that's going on, um, it's unfortunate that uh, some people are taking it uh, upon themselves to um, to make these things happen. And unfortunately, I can't I, I can't police everybody that's on the internet. Um, I, I'm 
I never wanted that. And, you know, one of the first posts that I ever said um, was a saying from Gandhi, an eye for an eye makes the world blind. And to me, I, I really believe in that. I don't want any vigilante justice. I don't want people posting death threats to anybody. That's not the answer. The answer to violence is not violence. The, the answer is finding a way to change our culture away from, from that. And I firmly believe that there's an answer somewhere. But please, guys, if you're on my page, you know, I'm not, I'm not wanting in any way, shape, or form to, uh, you know, have any vengeance or retaliation against anybody. That's not what I'm about here. I'm about, you know, finding resolve for a childhood problem that no kid should ever have to face. You know, authorities were saying today that they just didn't have enough time to, to look into the matter. Do you think that's true or do you think they had plenty of time? Or I guess maybe the issue held off on the picture a little longer, too. No. Uh, I, I, I would imagine, I mean, they had the entire day of Tuesday. Uh, I mean, Monday night, the police were called. They knew about it Monday night. They had all day Tuesday um, before, until 6 o'clock. So there was more than 24 hours um, and an entire school day to ask questions. All those kids were there. It, it doesn't take very long to ask kids questions and, um, you know, come up with some answers. And, you know, it's unfortunate that the Kakana Police Department bought the stories of the bullies. Um, I, and it's extremely disappointing to me that you would, you would think that the police department would look deeper, maybe. Um, I honestly, I wasn't there in their investigation, so I don't know what questions were asked, but I know the result that came of it, and if that's what they believe, they must be the most gullible police department on the face of the planet because they're buying a, a bag of lies, and it's, it's disgusting. Do you feel like you're in over your head after all this attention and the Facebook? Uh, it's hard to keep up. I, I, I'm trying as, as much as possible to keep up with as many of the outpouring affection of uh, emails and stories that are coming in. I'm doing my best, um, but I'm still trying to maintain a normal life. Um, and I just want to, you know, I haven't, I've heard a lot of the rumors. I've heard all sorts of stuff that's been going on. And a lot of my friends and family are kind of texting me about stuff that's happening. And I, I honestly, uh, I hear it probably fourth, fifth, sixth hand before anything else uh, actually comes of it. I, you know, but I don't, I, I'm trying not to get overly caught up in it. And I'm trying to, you know, just kind of maintain me. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to think of myself as anything, you know, special. I, I'm just speaking out against bullying. In your letter to the superintendent, you mentioned uh, something you heard about the football team making a, yes. a bet. And, and some people were concerned about, you know, posting that on the Internet. Do you have to kind of watch what you're saying now with so much uh, attention? On yeah. It? Yeah, I absolutely have to watch what I, I say. But at the same time, uh, one of the things that I wanted to make sure of is that people understand that this is a history. This is not something, this is not an isolated incident at Kakana Public Schools. Um, this is something that's happened over and over and over again, and it needs to stop. Um, there was another gal on one of the stations, I'm not going to name names, uh, but they had done a follow-up interview. Actually, Chad, I think that was you, um, that a lady had said, yep, same thing happened to my kid, and nothing was done about it. Here's the proof. Here's the evidence. I'm getting that from everywhere everywhere at uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of emails this is not just a kakana problem this is just not a me and my son problem this is this is global this is gigantic and it, it's not just the kakana police department that sweeps bullying under the rug this is far far greater than that and it, and it needs to stop